Hey, hot stuff, can you slow down just a minute? Do you want to get attacked or what? I want to know what's going on. I'll tell you later, but we need to run. <sighs> Over here. Now, will you tell me what's going on? Yeah. Only special humans are allowed in this world. Well, not really world, but... I don't know if you noticed, but you just crossed a line. An imaginary line. I hope you know you're not making any sense. And I just lost my lunchbox, and now I'm hungry. Look, cutie. Aw, you called me cute. It's a good nickname, it suits you. This is like an imaginary forest, but it's not really imaginary. A spell was cast over that imaginary line. That way, humans won't be able to cross it. Then how come I crossed it, and you're saying you're not human? I was once human, but I was called on by a creature. The she I was talking about. Oh. So this she is some sort of beast, like a monster, a gorgeous beast. And yes, they can be scary, but they mean good. That spell was cast over the forest that way nobody could get to them. But I'm the only one keeping that forest going. And I've got a whole pack, a huge pack, hundreds of them. Hundreds of warlocks after me. Warlocks are male wizards, witches, sorcerers, spellcasters. Alright, the source, I get your point. I am also a sorcerer, but I'm a good sorcerer. I use my powers for good, and that's to protect Ruby. Ruby, my pet. I know you're here, Dragon Trainer Braylock. Did he say? Shh. Come out. Don't be afraid. I've only come to take my revenge. Ow. Shh. And I know that girl is with you too. But what she doesn't know is that you are a murderer. Murderer? Don't listen to him. He's only trying to trick you. And I know who you killed. My own father. And I know it was you that killed him and my mother at the same exact time. So, come out and face your punishment. I didn't kill either of them. I promise he thinks it was me, but I know the truth. But I'm not allowed to say, because it's against my code. Brennan, so help me. I will come and get you myself. No. Stop. Your aura is very strong. Dragon Root Bear Take us home now Come to the rescue again, Ruby. She's a she's a da Dragon. She's a real life dragon. A real life dragon. An actual dragon. A uh, a and there's someone else I'd like you to meet. I think he smells something funny. Hey! Hey, that's my candy! You took all my candy! He says he really likes candy. 
Oh yeah, he's your dragon, and you can name him. My dragon? Paige, I, I don't know if you know this, but he called on you. He was watching you through me. Through telepathy, of course. Why me? Because I had candy. He's laughing at you. He thinks you're very intelligent and kind. Someone who could make a good dragon sorcerer. In fact, you already are a sorcerer. I just have to train you so that you can use your powers. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have to give her that thing so that she can understand you. It's very pretty, thanks. Glad you like it. Now you'll have to name your dragon. Well, since she likes candy. Ah, uh, he's a he. Oh, well. I'll name him Candy. Don't you think that's a little bit feminine for uh, a male dragon? Well, now that I can understand him, he just told me he likes candy. So, apparently, he likes that name. Yeah, my dragon's name is Candy. Deal with it. Once again, you're not an average girl. Yeah, but that's why you like me. And by the way, I need to be getting home. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'll show you the way. We heard that. Show me the way, hot stuff. Okay, cutie. I'll take that. I have to put that necklace in my purse. That way my dad doesn't see it. I think he would find it odd that on the first day of school, she gets a pure sapphire necklace. Yeah, 